I have this grid here and I can select a couple rows and I can just do control C which is uh, you know copy and let's bring up a uh, trusted little notepad here and then I can paste in the value of those rows now we have it set up to copy in the row headers and you can turn that on and off but then I could come through and change this so let's say Zoe got married and her last name is now Smith and Alex doesn't want to go by Alex anymore he wants to go by Alexander and so now what we can do is copy this information go back to our grid since it's already selected all I need to do is control V and now those changes have been made to the grid okay let me show you how it's done so here's a, a window here and I have the grid already on the page just in a stack panel and there's just some really simple things that we need to add to it just so you see everything that's involved here all we're doing is loading up the data source property to a view model that has a collection of, of people objects so that's all that's happening behind the scenes and the code behind and the XAML here I'm gonna paste in a couple times uh, just so we can kind of track what's what's going on here so with the field layout settings uh, what we want to do is allow clipboard operations now this is an enumeration so you don't have to do all in fact what you could do is choose between clear contents copy cut uh, none paste on and on so you have some pretty explicit control over what you can do with the clipboard I'm just putting all in there to in order to to show you exactly everything that's going on and then like I said copy field labels to clipboard this is a, a boolean here you know ideally this would probably be a, a checkbox setting around the grid that people could turn on and off and, and decide to do how they want but right here I'm just hard coding it in the last piece that we need to make sure to define uh, is the field settings and so for the field settings the, the reason I did this was because the default behavior of the grid is when you click on something to go into an edit mode and so I'm telling the the cell click action to just say select the cell or the label to select the field that way um, it's not going into an, an edit mode you really get an idea of how the interfacing with the clipboard works so after that all we have to do is run it again and we get a nice build error What's going on in here ah when I pasted everything got a little crazy let's close that off and we should be okay now So once again, here's our grid. Do the same thing as before. We'll select a couple, do control C for copy. Paste in here. So we can just say, uh, you know, some sort of gibberish. And now we can copy in those values and paste them in. And there you go. It's that easy. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.